We have purchased recently a robotic um, uh, instruments. This is the console of the robot where we have the surgeon sat in the console. He has a, a TV screen here, which is a three-dimensional screen. And this console controls the arms that are present next to the bedside of the patient. The, the, the robot we bought in Swindon is a part of a regional investment into robotic surgery. Swindon was the first hospital to receive its robot. It will be followed by Salisbury and Bath Hospital. Robotic surgery will, will allow us to do minimally invasive surgery. We're starting off in Swindon in colorectal surgery. We'll be offering it for patients who have been diagnosed with bowel cancer. This um, robotic platform will enable us to do surgery which is minimally invasive on patients we were not able to do minimally invasive surgery before. The view that you get is uh, very much superior than the standard laparoscopic um, keyhole uh, surgery. Uh, standard laparoscopic surgery is two-dimensional, um, so you can't perceive depth. Um, after a period of time, your brain generates depth, but you, it's not quite the same. Um, the robot's um, three dimensions, so you get depth, but also you get a degree of clarity in the vision that you just can't get laparoscopically. These are the, the, the joysticks of the robot, really, what we use to control the arms there. So we get to sit here, watch the screen, and we tend to move my hands here as if I am exactly in the human body. The robot will allow us to do moves that we would not be able to do with keyhole surgery. Because I can only, I, I, before, in keyhole surgery, we have only special moves we can do up, down, right, and left. With this, no, we can go inside, outside, and we can do tilts. We can, do, we can control it fully as if we have got our hands inside the tissue with minimally invasive surgery. Uh, so this is one of our bedside units or arms. Um, it has uh, joints which uh, manipulate um, uh, around like this, you have um, a wrist with rotation and the instruments themselves um, have wrists that can angle up and down and twist around um, and those are, allow us to get into positions that you simply can't get with a standard straight laparoscopic instrument. For the patients it means um, less pain post-operatively, um, it means uh, arguably uh, uh, an operation with greater clarity and greater vision and greater control. It's the future and whatever happens, everything that's happening now is going to be for the benefit of the, well not only the national health but of everybody for the future health-wise. As far as we know the benefits are easier recovery, not such a big operation, not such a big scar and a quicker quicker recovery time. For keyhole surgery it is quite demanding on the surgeon um, standing in an awkward position for quite a few hours um, and you know back injuries and that sort of thing do happen so here you have um, a sitting fairly comfortably um, at the console uh, doing the same operation so for the surgeons um, it, it's a great advantage. It's only a selected number of hospitals in the whole of in, in, in the UK all the whole world that is able to offer robotic surgery for patients. For me it is a new tool I've got better view I have better control and I'm sure our surgery will get better as it's as now we have good evidence that it does. It's a magnificent view we get here it's a three-dimensional view the instruments have maneuvers that we could have not had beforehand with standard keyhole surgery. Um, it's, it's really exciting and it's, 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 the, it's really the new era of, of surgery.